My goal is to get as light as possible without getting a stress fracture. As a serious runner, I look for every advantage on race day, and that includes getting down to race weight. I'll define race weight not by what's necessarily best for my body, but by what elite runners weigh. I'll compare my body to shirtless pictures of professional runners on Instagram, watch training videos on YouTube, and know that's what my body needs to look like. I'll also seek advice on weight from the experts on Let's Run. Some people will say, oh, don't obsess about weight, or what's a healthy weight for somebody else might not be healthy for you. Sure, but Ryan Hall has stated that he weighed 127 pounds when he was racing, so that seems like a good target for me. Now I know that weight isn't everything, so I'll look at other numbers like BMI, some people don't even like BMI as a metric because they say it doesn't take into account things like bone density and frame size. Well, if only I could do something about my bone density and frame size. I mean, I can buy the same shoes as Kipchoge, but I can't pay to magically have the same body frame as Kipchoge. I would, if I could, you know. You can't put a price on epicness. Ugh. There must be somebody I can throw money at to have smaller bones. I know that the most important number to track is body fat percentage. And I'll use calipers or a scale that claims to somehow be able to measure your body fat percentage to get some numbers to obsess over. And I do love obsessing over data from questionably accurate devices. Strength training is one way to help with body composition but I'm terrified of lifting weights. Muscle is dense and that extra weight will just slow me down. I pay extra for shoes that are less grams, so why in the world would I want to put on a pound of muscle? To be honest, one time I did reach my arbitrary and unhealthy race weight goal, and I gave myself a stress fracture. Training hard and not eating enough is a recipe for injury. So now I aim to be one pound heavier. At the end of the day, I know that being lean does matter. And my family might tell me that I look too skinny or I look unhealthy or that I should put meat on my bones. But getting down to race weight is a sacrifice that I'm willing to make to meet my arbitrary running goals. What happened to you, Ryan?